All right, uh, today we're going to look at uh, a possible new way to uh, revive, uh, revitalize dead bass strings. So, uh, you know, back in the old days, bass strings seemed to be kind of disproportionately expensive compared to guitar strings and really basses and whatnot. And, uh, you know, in the 80s, you know, 20 bucks for a set of bass strings was like a big deal. Um, despite rampant inflation, uh, bass strings have actually come down over the years. So, uh, it's not really necessary, but there's so many people out there, uh, who kind of feel the need, uh, to re revitalize, uh, dead strings. You know, there's, uh, the common is, uh, boiling. Uh, I've heard some other things. Uh, I have a video of myself, uh, I'll link it, uh, no, up there. And, uh, where you can just kind of flick the dart out of them, uh, by, you know, just snapping them. Uh, that actually works like once or twice if, and then after that, and even then it gets some life back into them. So, uh, today we're going to be looking into the possibility of, uh, some alternative and an alternative way uh, to clean them up. So first let me demonstrate, uh, this is a uh, Steinberger S or Steinberger. I just bought a Steinberger license base. Uh, this is an Ibanez, uh, Soundgear SR 300 M, M for maple. And these strings are, uh, they could be deader, but they're pretty darn dead. So, so it feels like I got a little more snap in the uh, D and the G string, but uh, uh, the E and the, the A are just dead. So uh, I thought, well, hmm, how can we think out of the box? So the first thought I had was this. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? So alcohol, yay. So this uh, two liter of uh, incredibly expensive vodka from my refrigerator, it's 42 proof. So 42 proof is like uh, 21 percent which means it's 79 percent water um, bass strings corrode <laughs> uh, despite uh, what a lot of uh, you know so these are you know nickel round wounds I'm sure there's a steel core so you can't have that much water now uh, in this state uh, Everclear I think is illegal and uh, you would want something close to 100% alcohol. So we're going to go a little different here. So this is uh, what we're looking at. Uh, this is 91% isopropyl alcohol, uh, which means it's probably... Now, this may or may not have like some, uh, some scents or aromatics or something in them. Uh, however, that means it's about 9% water. Uh, my thought is, is uh, we're going to clean these bass strings in a solution of this for like an hour. I'm not going to leave them overnight. I'm not going to leave them for two days. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. So uh, first part is uh, the boring part. Well, a lot of this will be boring part. So I'll try to uh, skip through things quickly, but uh, we'll just start listening to bass strings. And if you're wondering, yes, I'm going to leave the bass strings off for a whopping hour. There will be no tension on this neck. Oh, my God, it's going to break. Uh, and uh, this bass, rather conveniently, has the cool bridge where they just kind of snap in the back. So I'm going to put these on the floor for a sec. Okay, All right, so the strings are now off. Uh, I really, uh, you know, like you could try wiping them clean, maybe. 
uh, with the alcohol while they're on the base. The alcohol is a solvent. And if you had something with kind of a hand rubbed, you know, satin finish, that would be bad. Uh, this Ibanez would probably be fine. So the next thing I'm going to do, uh, but I'm not going to take that chance, is I'm just going to wrap these up, you know, kind of like, uh, you, you know, everybody does this. And this is how they come. So they need to fit into a container so that we can soak them in the alcohol. So just quickly, one of these fit a very expensive container. Might cost a little more. So here we go, we've got our uh, four strings. And then uh, what I'm going to do is we'll just uh, pour some alcohol in the uh, plastic container. And then we're going to uh, soak it for about an hour. No, I should be done. All right, so let's come on over here. Got our uh, junk everywhere. So let's come on down a little bit and see what's going on here. All right, I may have to add more out than that. We'll see. I am just going to. Uh, try to arrange these in such a way to where maybe they'll stay under and then of course I have one it's trying to escape All right, so what I am going to do, so the alcohol does not uh, just evaporate off terribly fast, is uh, put the lid on. So there you go. So I am just going to uh, agitate these ever so often, and I'll leave this uh, cooking for an hour or so, and then we'll uh, we'll come back to it and. Uh, Put them back on the base and see how well it works. All right, so it's been an hour and periodically I have just kind of agitated things a little bit to, uh, you know, kind of get any loose dirt possibly out. So let's open this up. Let's take a look. So the alcohol definitely looks uh, dingy, which is good because that's the dirt that was in our strings. So it looks like it's doing the job. What I'm going to do is uh, take our strings out and then just kind of uh, pat them dry here. And actually, I, I will completely dry them off when we're done with this. And since this is alcohol, they'll actually air dry really quick. So this set did not have any sort of uh, cloth leader, like say a GHS or a uh, uh, other string might. Uh, these are unknown because they've just got these little gold ends. I can tell you they're not Diodarios, which is actually kind of my go-to string ordinarily is Diodario uh, XLs. So, all right. So we have a little chicken chuck. That's the only chicken chuck that I'm going to do more right now. Okay. So, that's the chicken. That's the only one I did. Now, the string did not look all that bad, Matthew. So, I can't tell you about the appearances. I will say, look. All right. So, it's been an hour, and periodically, I have just kind of agitated things a little bit to, uh, you know, kind of get any loose dirt possibly out. So, let's open this up. Let's take a look. So. The alcohol definitely looks uh, dingy, which is good, because that's the dirt that was in our strings. So it looks like it's doing the job. What I'm going to do is uh, take our strings out and then just kind of uh, pat them dry here. And actually, I, I will completely dry them off when we're done with this. And since this is alcohol, they'll actually air dry really quick. So this set did not have any sort of uh, cloth leader, like say a GHS or a uh, uh, other string might. Uh, these are unknown because they've just got these little 
gold ends. I can tell you they're not Diodarios, which is actually kind of my go-to string ordinarily is Diodario uh, XLs. So, So, a uh, moment of truth, uh, got things in tune, uh, I'm not real sure what pitch I'm at, I'm not sure that's an E, it's somewhere close, but you know, uh, did it work, so uh, i trying to get all my trouble, everything up, so uh, kind of a mixed bag uh so the thinner strings seem to be uh i hear improvement in the uh, a i hear improvement in the e but it still sounds kind of dead to me I'd really say the, the A sounds pretty good too. So the A is more than acceptable. It was terrible before. The uh, E is uh, just kind of dead. So what I'm going to do is I'll put the E back in the uh, solution here for another hour all by itself. Maybe that was the string that was on top. I think it was. Uh, maybe it didn't get submerged. So let me fix that and see what happens. So I soaked the uh, E in uh, the alcohol for another hour. Honestly, I don't really think uh, a whole lot happened there, so. So it's definitely not as dead as it used to be, but it's not as good as it could be. So uh, maybe uh, these thicker strings take a little longer. So maybe soak in these things for four hours or something. I'll try that next time. Uh, my brother had an interesting suggestion. So something you could try as well is like a uh, parts washer. 
So something designed for like small parts like uh, bolts and nuts, uh, something you might buy at Harbor Freight that uh, will warm the liquid a little bit and it also agitates, vibrates uh, the parts. Uh, that might actually clean them up pretty quick too. Again, this is just kind of an experiment. So it's like strings are cheap enough where you really shouldn't have to do this. However, in this day and age, you know, you may not be able to get a pair of, or a set of strings, uh, you know, same day or something. So, uh, I think this is useful in a pinch. Uh, anyhow, let me know in the comments what you think. And then, uh, you know, please, uh, like and subscribe. The channel is, uh, very slowly building. You've got 1230 subscribers, I believe, today. So, uh, you know, do what you can to support the channel if you like all things base. All right, till next time.